What's that? Oh, I'm just on competitivecyclist.com checking out a bunch of really cool bike products and gear I want. You're right. It is almost Father's Day. I totally forgot. How nice of you to remember. Oh, you saved some money and you'd like to buy me a present? Well, let me show you my shopping cart and some of the cool products I want. Welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in to our latest video in partnership with competitivecyclist.com. Today we're going to be going over a few gift ideas and it doesn't have to be for Father's Day. It could just be stuff that you want to get for yourself. And these are some recommended products that we really like and think are worthwhile to have in the garage or your gear bag. Now, if it is Father's Day or Mother's Day and your baby isn't the lemonade entrepreneur you wish they were, the new Niner WFO might not be in the playing cards, but that's okay. Give them a few years, they might step it up for you. In that case, we've got a few more affordably priced goods that we think would be great options for a gift. Now we've got it broken down into a couple of sections and we're gonna try to get, walk you guys through why we think each of these items is good and worthwhile to have. Now, as mountain bikers, there are consumable goods. That, that, those are products that we burn through a lot that we regularly are replacing tires, shoes, knee pads. These are items that wear out and or get stinky. Okay, anybody out there that does mountain bikers laundry, you know that there's probably some funky things in those gear bags. So fresh knee pads, fresh shoes, new helmets, all things that are gonna be a nice welcome addition to any mountain bikers closet. Now, aside from those items that we wear and burn through like shoes, knee pads, tires, etc we get into the garage space, the man cave or she shed, whatever you wanna call it. This is the place where we work on our bikes, where we get some relaxation, where we get to keep our trusted steed running precisely and sharply. So what we're gonna do is talk about a couple of tools that we think are good investments if you like to work on your bike. First up, we've got this seal press and fork seal. Um, installation guide from Abbey Tools. They're located right here in Bend, Oregon. It's really awesome that uh, they make the tools here locally, have them anodized in Oregon. It's super cool. And if you are someone who likes to do suspension servicing, which is very important to keeping your bike riding well, this is going to be a tool that really makes that job a lot easier. You can push those new seals with fresh lubrication in there. That lubrication, we recommend Maxima's Plush Fluid. Super nice, it comes in a variety of weights. Another nice tool you can buy in a set or individually from Abbey Tools are these suspension top cap. So these sockets have a really flush profile making it easy to take that top cap off. So if you wanna install volume reducers in your fork or you like making adjustments to that, if you wanna get in there and do some servicing, this is gonna be a great way to guarantee you don't round any edges on that soft aluminum cap. And if you are someone who likes to work on your bikes or travel to races or events, the Park Tools Portable Workbench is another solid recommendation. Got cup holders, baby bottles, and an adult beverage, maybe some tools right here. Then you can put anything you're working on, whether that's suspension, other components, and this organization mat from Park Tools, also really cool. You can put all your little nuts and bolts in there, not lose anything, have it get swept off the workspace, and then you get on your hands and knees trying to find stuff in the spider webs and dog hair, it's never any fun. So definitely a solid recommendation, not a crazy expensive part, great gift, and uh, pretty much everyone's gonna be stoked on that one. So moving out of the shop and onto the bike, there are a few items that we think would be great, easy gifts that will fit on anybody's bike, just about anybody's bike anyways. Those are pedals, grips, bottle cages. Um, bottle cages come in a variety of sizes, designs, colors, you name it. One that we really like is the Specialized EMT. This is a bottle cage that actually houses a multi-tool in it. So you can just flip that out. You got a multi-tool inside, has all your bare essentials, right? If you just like going on small local rides, don't wanna carry a huge pack with you, if you're forgetful, maybe you switch packs often. This is a surefire way to not hit the trail without any tools. Won't save the day if you break a chain or something, but definitely will get you back up and running with the usual stuff. 
Another cool little kit that we like is this Blackburn kit. It has a CO2 and the Pro Plugger tool attached to it. So you've got tire plugs and CO2 in one. It threads into the two bolts for your water bottle cage and has everything to fix a flat right here. So definitely a neat little gift and something that we're excited to keep putting on all of our test bikes in the future. Again, flat fixing, important. The Stan's Dart and Dart Refill Kit, not super expensive, work well, and they're definitely worth having. And uh, if you don't own one, you should buy one. If you can find one in your uh, mountain bikers a gear pack, always good to buy a refill kit because you go through these things a lot. Great way to plug your tire, get back up and running. Grips, that's something that's a little bit more to the rider's preference, but they're cheap, they're easy to get. Um, if you look at the grips that are on your mountain bikers handlebars, chances are they're pretty worn out. A safe bet would be to just replace the grips that are on that bike. They're still on there and they're worn out. That means they didn't hate them that much. So you could always play it safe, rebuy what's on there, or you could try something new. Obviously they come in a variety of colors, design patterns, even thicknesses. So you can really do some, some nice work to kind of match the bike, do a little bit of color accents, whatever. Um, but the, the Ergon grips here, we've really been enjoying these. These are the GFR ones. And we've also got these new grips from 1UP Components that are also really cool. They come in a variety of colors, have a nice little cutout here, which is going to make them a little bit more comfortable on really rough, long descents. Also, if you're going to be souping up that bike with some fresh grips, fresh pedals are never a bad idea. Also available in a variety of colors, and they're an easy way to make that bike look fresh and new, get a little bit of fresh life in that thing. So back to the consumables here, tires, awesome gift. You really can't go wrong if you get a good set of tires. That's the key word there. You got to get a good set and the right size. So on the sidewall, you will see all the important information, size, width, the type of rubber compound, grip, etc. If you go outside, take a look at those tires, match it up to what's on there. Chances are you're going to have a happy mountain biker. So moving on to knee pads, shoes, helmets, all these are going to be size specific items. So you can sneak out to the garage, take a peek in the closet, look at the labels, figure out what size your mountain biker is. Um, we've been really enjoying a lot of the different shoes from Ride Concepts over the last couple of years. They're some of our favorites in both the clipless and flat pedal variety. So uh, really hard to go wrong with anything from them. Knee pads. There's a lot of great brands out there. We've done tons of reviews, so you can check our website out for those. But G-Form, Race Face, uh, 7IDP, all really great options, all things that you can find at Competitive Cyclist. Um, this here is a Smith Session helmet. Helmets do have a lifespan, folks. Um, so if you want to keep your head safe and your loved one's head safe, make sure you replace these regularly every couple years because the EPS foams and liners all start to deteriorate, they've got a lifespan. So um, important that these fit right and are replaced regularly. Uh, again, they all pass the safety certification, they all get the safety standards. So um, any helmet that you buy is going to be safe. Some just might be a little bit safer and help reduce some you know, side load uh, or rotation impacts a little bit better, have fancy features like this choroid treatment or a MIPS liner. So. Kind of depends on how much you want to spend. Usually better fit, more ventilation, and more safety features. But um, again, it's, it's most important that you replace them and that they fit right. Now, one thing we haven't touched yet here are these high-end Allen wrenches. I know we already went over tools a little bit, but uh, these things right here, I've been lusting after for quite a while. You can probably see these old beat up park tools, T handles in the background. They're starting to get rounded out. I've had them since I was probably a late teen. So it's been a while. And uh, these things, they're not cheap. It's $102 for seven Allen wrenches. It's crazy, I know. But I sprung up for a set of these and I gotta tell you, I haven't used them yet. I can't wait to get them out and try them. But these are beautiful. 
they look like they're going to last me a very, very long time. A uh, lot of really cool features about these. Yeah, it might just be a hex wrench to some of you guys. You're probably not the ones that are going to buy a hundred dollar Allen wrench set, but if you are a mechanic, someone who loves wrenching, wants to have the nicest, best tools, these things are definitely worth a look. So that's it, folks. That's a pretty solid, uh, I guess, smorgasbord of offerings that we think would be a really good way to stoke out your mountain biker. Or if you want to get yourself some cool new stuff that maybe you didn't know wasn't on your radar, these are all things that we think are really cool and worth checking out. Make sure you use the code LOMEWOLF15 at checkout at competitivecyclist.com for a 15% discount on any applicable items. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks again to Competitive for helping us make this video, and we hope to see you out on the trails.